blessings that are only going to be seen by your descendants. They are going to be seen by the next generation. Some of the things that you are praying for today may not happen during your lifetime, but they will happen during the life of your descendants. Because the blessings of God goes beyond your lifetime. Your lifetime is too short as compared to the, to the blessings that God gives a man. When God said to Abraham, you'll be father of many nations, Abraham during his lifetime Abraham he, he did not see that. But Isaac Isaac he bore out a child called Jacob. Even Isaac did not see that. But Jacob had 12 sons. Jacob began to experience the blessings that God spoke to his grandfather. Hallelujah. 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 So you can see that when we live it's not about ourselves. We need to be personal about our lives. Because our lives lives beyond our generation. So what we do today might affect our children. The Bible says when I punish you I'll punish you to the third and fourth generation. To the third and fourth generation. So meaning you can commit a serious sin today. You may not even go to jail. But the punishment might come to the third and fourth generation. So you are causing a curse in the next generation. Because of the life that you live today. So that's why as Christians, decisions that we take today, we must not just only look at ourselves but we must look at those that are going to come after us.